हरे कृष्णा ब्रेक द हैबिट दैट कैन ब्रेक यू बिफोर इट ब्रेक्स यू समटाइम्स सम पीपल से वी ड्रिंक बट वी डोंट गेट ड्रंक वी ड्रिंक मॉडरेटली वेल दिस इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी द प्रॉब्लम विद सच द रीजनिंग इज दैट इट निगलेक्ट्स द सटल वे इन विच हैबिट्स बिकम एडिक्टिव just as if a person is bound by a very by a rope made of soft material then that person may not even feel uh, the pain of being bound till that person tries to break free from that bondage <laughs> similarly many habits similarly we don't feel the power of our self destructive habits till we try to break free from them and further when we try to break free from them at that time we realize how tightly we are bound actually till that point just as the soft material of the rope might even feel comforting similarly the habits that we indulge in can create a sort of can bring some comfort by providing some relief and release uh, in an otherwise unpredictable or an chaotic life so when now subtly what happens by this is that so firstly I explain why we are not able to sense the grip of the habits secondly is how they can become addictive when we get comfort in a particular activity then that activity often becomes Uh, then the mind gravitates towards that activity whenever we face an uncomfortable situation so say when uh, adversity afflicts us leaves us distressed when something goes wrong in our life then we may find ourselves uh, even without our conscious intention or even awareness moving towards that uh, that comfort providing activity that habit of for the sake of getting relief and when we are seeking relief then moderation in the indulgence will seem like an obstacle from getting that relief uh, so for example if a person seeks relief in drinking then the person will feel oh what will one glass or two glasses do i want to get i want relief and thus the line from moderation to moderate indulgence to extreme indulgence will get crossed because of the because of the urge for getting relief which we feel we need and which we may actually be needing also because we are distressed and once that line is crossed from say from getting uh, from drinking to become drunk then that itself can set up a pattern that can begin that can be the beginning of a pattern so whenever in future we feel uh, distress we seek relief in that activity in say drinking and then uh, we move from we cross that line go from a like moderate to extreme indulgence to excessive excessive indulgence and thus the habit becomes addictive and becomes addictive even before we realize it uh, we may find that we have been caught in a habit that breaks us down that breaks our emotion that breaks our intelligence that breaks our finances that breaks our health it in breaks our life problem so the bhagavad gita warns us of this possibility when it states that dhayato vishayan pumsa sangaste shupajayate sangat sanjayate kama kamat krodho bijayate krodhat bhavati sammoha sammoha smriti vibhrama smriti bhramashat buddhi nasho buddhi nashat pranashyati so krishna says dhayato when we contemplate on the sense objects then what happens then at that time <coughs> we get caught the desire becomes stronger and stronger and that desire sangha is attachment from sangha comes <coughs> to come a strong irresistible desire then comes krodha who can stop me from it anger resentment who wants to stop it and in some more we forget about the uh, say the resolution for regulation regulation and then smriti bhramashad with the nasha rental is lost and pranashyati we fall so this is how the habits can become can break us down 
and that's why we need to break the habits that can break us before they break us. Now, once they become addictive, breaking them will become much much more difficult. So of course it's possible but it's much more difficult. It's much easier if we can break those habits before they break us and before they become so strong as to seem unbreakable. So how do we break the habit? Actually, the best way is to cultivate a positive habit. Is to find shelter in something higher, something purer, something uh, deeper. And the best such shelter is in Krishna. So when we get shelter in Krishna, then we no longer uh, when we may, not only we do we seek shelter in Krishna, but we make the habit of seeking shelter in Krishna. And once we have set up that habit of finding shelter in Krishna, then we won't be captivated, and we won't be misled. We will be able to resist the lure of the pseudo comfort offered by self-destructive habits. Thank you.